My name is Kyle McCulloch. Who? And I was one of the visual effects supervisors for Framestore on Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy. And I'm going to tell you a little bit about how we did the visual effects work in the film. We had almost 400 artists working on the show here at Framestore, and that comprised probably 14 different divisions, from texture painters to concept artists to modelers, people who are doing simulation work to recreate physical, real-world things like fire and water. You've got environment people that are putting pieces together, building buildings, laying out shapes, and then you've got a lighting team that are going in and not just putting big lights into the shot to make it look pretty, but we had a team of people that were just putting in street lights and window lights. You've got matte painters that are Photoshop artists that can go in and add a bit of detail or add a bit of realism to something. You have lighting and other TDs who are managing the assets and getting CG renders out that are then given to the compositors who are the ones that take all of the pieces from the different divisions and put it all together into the final picture that you see on screen. It's exciting to be in visual effects here in London, having worked in a few different cities over the course of my career. You have four of the biggest companies in the world, all within a few blocks of each other, and so there are literally thousands of visual effects artists all working and creating some of the biggest movies in the world right here in Soho. So that's a little bit about how Guardians of the Galaxy came together from a visual effects standpoint, and if you're interested in hearing more about how we did it, getting some behind-the-scenes details, then come and see me speak about it in detail at the VFX Festival.